hello. So I'm going out tonight and I want to get a head start on my outfit. I have gone through the cupboard of chaos to find four different looks to wear tonight. I need to sort out hair and makeup of course, but I'm going to show you my four options. Okay, I'll start with the black librarian business suit look. There is a layered short skirt under here and I could pair it up with this wig. We've got the red kind of silk number here paired with a nude heel. We've got the black Valentino style um, dress which is hitched up at the waist here paired with a silver heel Oscar de la Rente fragrance and gold earrings and we have our purple outfit here which is paired with purple earrings. Which one do you guys like? Before I get on with hair and makeup, um, I need to sort out this mess here um, because we will obviously be having cocktails in the lounge room and we don't want to be seeing dilators on the floor and I need to put away my famous trampoline. Let's give it a go. I thought I would do a flower arrangement um, just to make the place look nice and in doing so I ended up um, breaking um, that so it fell from the counter and it is now broken I'm so upset although I feel like this looks like a cock and balls and it's a bit awkward to even have it in my living room so but yeah goodbye cactus goodbye but do we like the flower arrangement like this is actually a really beautiful colored I don't know foliage I think I'm just going to put out some snacks. These are low fat, um, healthy, because we don't want to get fat, do we? Right, I am running really late. I need to get ready. Um, so she's coming now. I don't have time for a shower, so I need to just greet her in my dressing gown and then I'll have a shower and then we can just like play with makeup and drink and get ready to go. So this is the final look for tonight. What do we think? So I ended up going with ended up going with the black dress tonight and I am wearing oh my god let me sit down. I'm wearing my nude heels That sounded like it ripped. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. So I have my friend here. She is so cool. We're getting on really well. And I think we have a friendship being formed. So that's great. Um, we're gonna go to the long room in Ponsonby. <laughs> Well, I'm home, but I'm very tipsy, very, oh my God, vodka Red Bull drink thing. And I swear to God, I feel so sick and disgusted from that drink. Oh my God. I'm gonna throw up and I'm gonna get this out of my system because I've got a road trip tomorrow. It was a fun night though. 
So it was fun in terms of like just vibing with someone. We got on. We both have similar life experiences. Time for me to take a couple of Panadol and just like sleep this off. Don't feel good. I don't know how this happened. I don't know how I feel so yuck. I don't feel like I drank that much, but something happened. So, all right. See you guys. Bye. She's not feeling good. I've just tried to throw up and nothing's coming out. I don't understand why I feel so drunk right now, but nothing's coming out. I have found AsproClear. Thank God I've got something to get me through tonight. Got no Panadol, but this is going to save my fucking life. Um, I'm actually cross-eyed. <laughs> this is what Red Bull and vodka does. I only had two sips. Like, did that guy spike our drinks or something? Invite us over for free drinks. Even though it was vodka and Red Bull and had this whole, like, fucking Star Wars Judd of the Hutt thing going on. But it wasn't... It was a... Uh, it was something, you know, like it was nice to have someone like come on to us and we danced and it was fun. So I just don't quite know why I drank so much. Like when was the tipping point? When I just had it a little too much. Um, All right, good night. It's time for me to have my aspro clear. It's time for me to go to bed. I may film the road trip tomorrow. Wait, good night. The kiss comes after. Oh, I'm so drunk. Good night. See you guys in my next video. I hope you have a good day. Bye. Oh my God. Good morning. It is the... <laughs> night after my night out partying and i am feeling a little bit hungover um i've got alpha male coming over so we're gonna do a road trip um that was fun it kind of reminded me of going out before covid before all of the restrictions and you know just having a good night out a good night of just drinking dancing having fun and then looking at the videos the next morning and going, cringing, what the hell? That's embarrassing. Why do I keep going in all my videos? So cringy. Um, but I've edited out most of the, out of my videos because it's just too cringe. There's a couple in there. <laughs> it was really nice catching up with my friend. Um, a really genuine, nice person. And, uh... Yes, yeah, so, so yeah, I've um, edited out some people in my life that were just toxic and it's nice to meet someone who doesn't have any hidden agendas, that's not trying to manipulate, that's not showing signs of narcissism or covert narcissism or personality disorders, doesn't feel like I'm going to end up in a single white female movie again. Um, just a normal person who had no agendas, no, like, nothing. It was just like, oh, cool, that's really cool. So I do have a small group of friends in my life who are transgender, and I'm just keeping it real with them. I just want people in my life that are no-strings-attached friendships where you're just each other's friends. That's the best you can ask for, and things grow from there. Um, I'm going to flick her a text soon. I don't want to wake her up, so I'll send it after my coffee just to make sure she's alive and she's got home okay. I was a bit drunk last night, so I pretty much just passed out in bed. I've got a bag of chips next to me for some reason. Um, I'm not going to eat the rest of them for breakfast, but I am going to make my coffee. All right, see you guys. Bye.